Welcome to another episode of the Game Feed. Uh, as you know, if you've been keeping track, uh, last episode I kind of went over um, the fact that I had to go to the hospital. I had some issues and had to get that taken care of, so I didn't get to do uh, my streams. And for the last couple days, I've been down due to Time Warner um, and their inability to come fix things on time. So that's why I'm a little bit late with all the E3 coverage, but uh, that's kind of what I'm talking about today in today's episode, and hopefully I'll have another one tomorrow just to make up due time, because I promise at least two to three of these each week. And anyways, let's get down to the point. Uh, E3 was this week. I uh, started on Monday. We started with Microsoft. Well, actually, we started out with Bethesda and Microsoft, Sony, you name it. It was all there. And we had a really good show this year. Um, there was a couple things that wasn't too awesome but um, it was enough to be decent. It was a decent showing for everybody, especially Microsoft. Announced backwards compatibility, showing off pretty much what that billion dollars they spent on Minecraft went to with HoloLens, which is fantastic. Uh, we got to see Halo, um, Years of War. Um, it was a really dark preview, but it was overall pretty good. Uh, Bethesda, they just knocked it out of the park. First thing that came in, you know, Fallout, Doom, which looks fantastic. Um, you know, one thing I kind of wish they would have shown off, I wish, but they didn't, was Quake. I would love to see another Quake. I don't know if Bethesda owns that at this point, or is it, if it belongs to Activision, but would like to see a reinvention of at least Quake. Um, that's something I would love to see. Um, now, Sony's press conference was actually pretty decent. Sorry, out of The Last Guardian. Um, we got to see um, the new IP from uh, Gorilla. Well, it looks pretty nice. It's basically like... Um, uh, I can't really explain it. Um, you hunt dinosaur robots with a girl that's not Noriko. I don't know. She looks like Noriko from... Uh, Heavenly Sword, if you played it. I think her name was Noriko. But yeah, it looks pretty good. We finally got to see Last Guardian. Uh, and the biggest the biggest megaton bomb of them all was the remake of Final Fantasy VII. Um, it was funny because I was in the hospital that day, and we just brought it up on my phone, and my friend looked at me, and he's like, oh, they just announced this little Final Fantasy game called Final Fantasy World. I was like, eh. I said, the only way Sony has me at this point is if they announce Final Fantasy VII remake. And lo and behold, that's what they did. Just I was like, well, fuck it. Um, they actually won. Um, and to just say that, I mean, that's a game I hold near and dear to my heart, chess. I know it's really fucking um, fanboyish, and there's a lot of people who do not like that game just because of that. But yeah, um, I love that game. It got me really, really deep into gaming at hard times when I was a child. Um, you know, I started gaming well before that game came out, but I got attached to the characters, the story. I'd probably beat that game like 10, 12 times. I got a, probably a year after it came out, got a PlayStation. And I played the game with no memory card. So I'd leave my PlayStation on like 24 hours. And I'd start all over just because, you know, I didn't have a memory card. Then I finally got a memory card, beat it, and I've owned it on every system it's been on since. Um, but yeah, it's it's I, I was highly appreciated that. Um, Nintendo's press conference, I didn't get to see the whole thing. I didn't watch the digital event. I went back and watched some recaps. Um, the Metroid thing wasn't what we wanted. Um, we didn't see Zelda that I know of. I don't think we did. Um, the Animal Crossing thing, I'm a little bit interested in that, but I'm not huge into the amiibo factor. Um, I was hoping for a full-fledged um, Animal Crossing game, but that's something we just didn't get. Um, but overall, E3 this year has been fantastic, and I've had. If I had to give a grade, I couldn't really give much of a grade, but I could say that Nintendo's compared to last year was insanely weak. Um, Microsoft just punching. And this is not being fanboy. I love Xbox, so I'm sorry if you know I'm downplaying Sony's press conference, but I mean. All we really saw in Sony's press conference was things we already knew was coming out. Even though Last Guardian has been shown forever now. We've been wanting to see it, and it's finally coming. It's happening, so we know it's coming. Um, but I think Microsoft and Bethesda, and probably Ubisoft had it best. Um, EA's was boring, to say the least. I mean, Mirror's Edge Catalyst was great. Uh, and Star Wars Battlefront, it looked really nice as well. Um... But overall, I mean, 
if I had to say the best overall, if I had to give two of them, it'd probably be Microsoft and Bethesda. They just kicked it out of the park this year. And Sony only, the only reason Sony has has my attention was because they shown off um, The Last Guardian and announced Final Fantasy VII, which is multi -plat. So, I mean, um, there wasn't really big things on exclusives. Um, Uncharted 4, we knew that's coming. I mean, we've seen that stuff the past couple of years. But um, the Gorilla thing is interesting. Gorilla's new IP, which they're not... I've played all the Killzone games, and they're not, like, insanely good. They're okay. Shadowfall was meh. It's okay. It's, but Gorilla, as a company, they're... I, the way I can compare them is to Crytek, though their um, though their storytelling's not that great. Um, they make it up in technology, and I think that Gorilla would be the, the pioneers next to Naughty Dog. They're going to sh show us what these new systems can do. So, uh, rather than not if this new game is going to be awesome, it may be, it may be terrible. I don't know. We'll see. But um, we'll talk a little bit more about E3, most likely in the next episode. I'm going to get caught up with a few more things, um, see if there's something I did miss. I'm really excited about Cuphead, so that's something to look forward to. And I, I'm in the preview program for the uh, Xbox One update, so I got to see quite a bit of the um, backwards compatibility stuff. Though there's only like 10, 15 titles you can use right now and try that out and I'm testing um, not testing just playing a beta for Gears of War Ultimate Edition which is fun it's pretty um, as expected just like you would expect uh, any HD remaster to be but definitely uh, enjoy it and guys uh, thanks for waiting on me um, sorry if I'm so late and I'm gonna keep up to date with uh, health and stuff and I'm gonna start a new thing here in a couple weeks called MTG Fit um, so Keep that in mind, and you probably see the lights coming back on, flickering. Uh, but sorry, this was such a took a while to get to this point. Uh, but guys, if you like this content, be sure to hit subscribe, uh, help grow the uh, channel up. Um, also, just be sure to share to people, and also you can check me out um, on weekdays from eight o'clock to eleven p.m. Eastern Standard Time at twitch.tv forward slash panto6. Um, and also, you can check out my Patreon as well. Channel links down below. And as soon as I get news, uh, you can check that out. I've got Twitter and all that stuff. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope uh, you like my opinion on what the things um, I saw at E3. And hopefully, um, I can give you some more stuff. So, sorry about the glare. Just turn the television. I'm using a television as a monitor right now because my monitor's... Um, gone so <laughs> but uh we'll keep an update here um hopefully tomorrow if not it'll be monday for sure so this uh concludes game feed episode four uh e3 electric blue blah 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 whatever stuff um, i hope you guys enjoy and take it easy